Hey everypony and welcome back to the channel. It's your friend Chip and today, today is day number 15. We are 10 days away from Christmas and I just can barely contain myself. Oh, I'm super excited to open day number 15 so let's continue counting down to Christmas with our package number 15. And 15 seems like, hmm, maybe it's another book. Let's get it open and find out. Ooh, I can see some glitter on the front. It is a Christmas book. And we are in for a Christmas treat with Rose Blossom's first Christmas. Look, we have that one. We know her, and we know her. Hey, maybe this will be a story with our winter ponies in it that we've gotten. Yeah, this is mistletoe, and I think that's snowflake. Gosh, <laughs> I love the glitter on the front of this one. It's so pretty, and it says it comes with stickers. I don't know if there's going to be stickers in here or not. Decorate the snowy scene with your My Little Pony stickers. Ah. One Pony Pony. It was $4.99 once upon a time. I don't even believe I paid $4.99 for it. Um, there is a really great shop on eBay that sells all kinds of used books. And I buy a lot of books from them. And they sold a whole bunch of children's books like this. And they were like buy two get one free and they're all like four or less dollars they're really cheap um so that was where i found this one i don't know if it has any stickers or not it does it does have the stickers still so here's our stickers oh look some of our ponies hey is that the pony that we had um yeah, I think this is that pony that we had that ornament from. We'll have to see if maybe we can find out what her name is in this book. Because <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. And we're going to have to find that out. And is Rose Blossom an actual baby pony we can get? I don't recognize her. Well, let's get reading the story, Rose Blossom's First Christmas by Anne-Marie Capeldia and illustrations by Carlo Lorazzo. Harper Festival. Mm. Wow, look at how Christmassy this book is. It was Rose Blossom's first Christmas in Ponyville. Her friends were filled with excitement and the little pony just couldn't wait to join the fun. Rose Blossom rushed to Twinkle Twirl's dance studio to meet Kimono. The two ponies were going to see all the Christmas sights and sounds of Ponyville. Kimono was waiting inside with two steaming mugs of hot cocoa. The two ponies giggled as they licked off whipped cream mustaches. First, Kimono said, I want to give you a behind-the-scenes look at the final rehearsal for the annual Christmas pageant. Ooh! The dancing ponies stopped to hear a final pep talk. Don't forget the most important thing. Have fun out there tonight, said Twinkle Twirl. Oh, I wonder if Twinkle Twirl is the pony that we had for the Christmas tree that we couldn't identify. Twinkle Twirl. <laughs> We'll see the pageant later, Rose Blossom, Kimono whispered. But first, there are a few more Christmas treats waiting for you in Ponyville. Our next stop is so-and-so's fabulous fashion studio, Kimono told Rose Blossom. Sparkling snowflakes stuck to Rose Blossom's scarf and Kimono's cloak. Wow! was all Rose Blossom could say when she saw the racks of beautiful clothes filling the studio. Fabric and sequins in every color of the rainbow were spread on top of so-and-so's work tables. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yikes. 
You look like you've been working really hard, said Rose Blossom. I'm always busiest during the holiday season, so-and-so explained. This is my latest stocking design. So-and-so held up a velvet stocking with green satin trim that said kimono and sparkly letters. So-and-so, this stocking is very pretty, Rose Blossom said admiringly. I saved the best for last, so-and-so said. Rose Blossom's very own stocking was almost ready. We better go now, Kimono explained. Our next stop is the cafe. Thanks for showing us your latest design, so she added as she rushed off. Delicious smells greeted the ponies at the cafe kitchen. Hi, Cupcake and Sweet Berry, Kimono said. As usual, it looks like you two are cooking up some tasty treats. We've been cooking all week, Cupcake explained. Cookies, cupcakes, pies, and of course, our famous Christmas popcorn strings to deck the halls and trim the tree. I love stringing popcorn. I string popcorn every year for my Christmas tree. That reminds me, the tree trimming will be starting any minute now, Kimono said. We'd better head over to Celebration Castle. Everyone's favorite Ponyville tradition takes place tonight, said Kimono. The tree trimming. Rose Blossom's bright eyes sparkled with excitement. Oh, look, there's the candy cane one. So, what is it, candy cane and mistletoe? And then that's probably mittens? And, or Snow Well. Maybe it was Snow Well. I don't know. Mittens and Snowflake. <laughs> We're trying. Every year, each pony, big or small, adds a special ornament to the tree, Kimono explained. I love Cupcake. I think she's so pretty. Everywhere Rose Blossom looked, she saw beautiful holiday outfits, delicious food, and dancing, smiling ponies. But Rose Blossom was not smiling. I love the little flower in her eye. Yeah, she's got a little heart in her eye, and she's got a little flower in her eye. Cute. What's wrong? asked Kimono. Christmas Eve is a time to be happy. I am happy, said Rose Blossom. But I didn't know I was supposed to bring something special for the tree. Oh, my sweet Rose Blossom. Every year I give the littlest pony a special job, Kimono explained. I'm counting on you to put the Christmas star in the perfect place atop the highest branch on the tree. And I won't let you down, the happy little pony replied, giving Kimono a special holiday hug. Aww. Rose Blossom hung the star on the tree just right. What a merry Christmas it will be, she cried happily. And then we have some my favorite Christmas traditions are opening presents, decorating the tree, being with, being, blah, 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 being with family, drinking cocoa, and being thankful. I like to spend Christmas with my family. These are the names of the people in my family. And decorate the pony's Christmas tree. Hmm. Cute. And that's how that story ended. Whatever became of Rose Blossom? The world wants to know. How cute. Thanks so much for hanging out and reading a Christmas story with me today. As we unwrap each of these gifts and continue to count down to Christmas together, I hope you're feeling the holiday spirit as much as I am. If you're excited for Christmas, hit the like button. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Ring the bell notification so you don't miss the next package we open. And if we aren't friends yet, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and stick around. We're almost at a thousand. Until next time. Merry Christmas, everypony, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!